what is up guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to solve a problem that i think a lot of you have when it comes to using affinity photo for the ipad and that is how the hell do you increase the stroke width or the border of any shape that you create now this app has been my go-to for all my thumbnails and photo manipulation tasks and although it's pretty powerful it isn't without its quirks and I personally think the way you increase the stroke width isn't as clear cut as it should be. So just kick back and relax. Let's open up Affinity Photo and let me show you how we do this. Now that we have this open, let's open up a new document. We're gonna leave all these settings the way they are because that isn't really the main focus of this tutorial right now. So we're gonna click OK. And once the canvas is up, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to look to the left side and open the shape tool and we're gonna make a shape we're just gonna keep this rectangle now for now we're just gonna drag and as you can see you can't really see it now because the fill color is a light gray I'm gonna change it to orange so that you can see it better actually I'm going to take this fill color off and to do that we're gonna go and tap this square with a red diagonal line and I can see I delete the fill if you go up here and tap you can switch between fill color and stroke color really easily and change the stroke color to a little green so you can kinda see it better it's pretty thin right now so I'm gonna zoom in but if you can see it you can see that there is indeed a stroke a green stroke now at the bottom of every tool there's a contextual menu that changes depending on the tool and for some reason there is an option to change the thickness or the width of the stroke from here to do that go to the pen tool which is directly above the shape tool and if you click it you can see the contextual menu has changed and if you look over to width you should be able to slide up and down and by doing that, increasing or decreasing the width. Hmm, what's going on now? Let me see something. Oh, you haven't selected it. So make sure you select the item that you're gonna change so that you can reflect. So now when I slide up and down, you can see that it is indeed increasing or decreasing the stroke. Just like that, so easy great so if you're not the sliding type you can always double tap and type in a numerical value like so oops that's a little bit too much now let's bring it back let's tone it down a bit like so and as you can see that's how you really change the stroke width on affinity photo and now that you know that you can now replicate this effect with pretty much any shape that you desire so let me just hide this now and go and choose a next shape maybe a donut and draw it out just like before gonna hmm, maybe bring back the fill so you can see that I made a donut I'm gonna turn it off though and I'm gonna go up to the stroke color and change it to blue and make sure I selected the shape go to the pen tool just like before and increase the width to whatever you want and now I can move it around manipulate it and go on my happy way so yeah thanks for watching I hope you learned something from this you got some value out of it if you did make sure you like subscribe and share and hopefully affinity refines the setting to make it just a little bit more transparent anyways I'll see you in the next one guys take care